a lot of times with your kids, you'll find yourself in situations where they're not uh, performing uh, well or, or behaving well. And if you dig deep, you'll be able to see that a lot of times these are things that you've taught your kids, um, often unintentionally. Um, I'm reminded of a, a lady I used to know, and she had two kids. And I remember once she had an opportunity to take one of her kids out to lunch. They were, I don't know, eight, ten years old, something like that. And something had happened, maybe somebody was home from school on a, on a, on a day, and she had the opportunity to take one of her kids out to lunch. And she was feeling real funny about it, and I, I said, why are you feeling funny about this? And she said that uh, if the other kid uh, finds out that I took uh, the first kid to lunch, he'll be upset that he didn't get to go, and I'll have to take him to lunch uh, right away, and uh, we're really busy right now, and I don't, I don't know if we can do that. And so she had all these ambivalent feelings about going to lunch with the, the first kid. Now that thing that caused the second kid to get upset is something that those parents had taught him, and I'm sure it's not what they intended to teach him. But they taught that second kid that, and we can surmise taught both kids that, by feeling like they always had to balance the books daily or, or by the hour. And if you did something for one, you automatically had to do something for the other right away. And that did not bring out the best in those kids. I think it's fine with your kids to, at times, treat them, bless them, uh, uh, do things with them unevenly. And it's good for them to have that experience that it doesn't always work out on a daily, on, a, on an hourly basis. I think it's good for them to, uh, to get that because what could happen is that you have one kid who uh, the other kid gets to do something and this kid could be glad for his brother or sister to have had a nice opportunity. Now, you do want to balance the books in the long run. Over a period of, of years and, and over the span of your kid's kidhood, you do want things to be even and to show no favoritism and uh, for, for everything to, be, uh, to work out evenly. But I, I make this distinction that you don't want to teach your kids that that's always going to happen in the short run. I think that's... Uh, counter effective.